My name is Andrew Oxley from the Bomber Nation, and today this is going to be episode 3 on Siren Gameplay. And today we're going to be doing the Dungeons and the Lost Realm. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing this together. We're going to be going straight into the dungeon here. We're going to be going the, the very, very top tier in a bit. But first, we're just going to do one of the lower dungeons just to see what she does on her own. Um... Let's see, let's pick a decent level for her. Mm, this one should do. Um, so we're going to show what she does on her own in the dungeons. Um, as I covered before, this hero can uh, target heroes as well as troops. And um, I believe one of the uh, people said she is particularly useful um, in the dungeons for sort of clearing out. But um, at the minute, I, I, I don't know. I mean, let's uh, let's see what she can do first. Um, I should drag Minotaur out just to take out all the troops beforehand. That might be helpful, actually. There we go. There's all the troops gone. Let's see what she can do now. Um, let's see if we can get a proc in first. Okay, not bad, not bad. I quite like the amount of damage she's doing, which is pretty nice. After all, this is quite a low-level dungeon, obviously. So, um, there we are. Um, Minotaur finished off there. Let's going to do another one of these. Um, see how well... She can uh, do this one. Um, see what Minotaur can do. Take out the troops. Okay, that's good. Um, now let's see what she can do in terms of damage to the buildings and the rest. Now what I'm seeing is Minotaur is very well accompanied with Siren. Because of the fact Siren, I believe, is pre pre pretty damn good at sort of clearing out buildings. Because he Minotaur did sort of the majority of the work there. Uh, we're going to do a higher up one. Uh, we're actually going to do the lower, the the top tier ones just to see how good she is. Um, let's go ahead and put out. Uh, let's do the same. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put out the Minotaur and Siren there. Um, okay. Um, there we are. That's a nice prop there. Take out Spirit Mage. It's a good job my <laughs> siren has a um, <clears throat> has a life drain built in, otherwise I'd be pretty fucked by now. Um, what I'm seeing is very, very well uh, suited alongside Minotaur because of the fact Minotaur clears out the majority of the buildings, and then Siren can sort of her prop can sort of clear out the rest because obviously Minotaur is very good at taking out ground suits. I mean, she takes out so many of them at once. So so useful. That's a pretty that's a pretty decent amount of damage there. I'm quite liking what I'm seeing here. Um works pretty well with Minotaur is is what I believe personally, but um, the thing is with the amount of troops that are within the dungeons, I mean eh I'm not sure how useful she is in the dungeons. I don't know. I mean well, if you've got Minotaur, so I suppose you can put her alongside Minotaur, but I don't know. I think there's more useful um opponents within the dungeons, obviously. But um, if you are struggling with the dungeons, um, I'd say there's more useful heroes out there. I mean, there's Thunder God. Thunder God's pretty good for the money. Immortep's very good at taking out a lot of troops at once. Um, Reaper's good for damage. Um, there's just a lot of competition there. I just don't believe Siren's all that good for the dungeons. Typically, I don't really use Spirit Mage for dungeons. So, And this is a type of hero that I compare Spirit Mage to. So, um, I, I don't know. I don't believe it's all the best for um, dungeons, so uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the Lost Realm here. Um, hopefully we might see one of these little merchant things out, uh, if we can anyway. Um, I've got no steps, I'm just going to buy the full stamina, just because I can really. Um, so I'll open one of these little silver chests here. Let's see how well she does in the um, in the in the uh, Lost Realm here. Let's go and open one of these treasure trove things, see what we can get. Crest box. I'm just going to open them all just because I can, really. Um, large red crystal bag. Okay, not bad. Um, this is what this is part of the new update. In case you didn't realise, guys. Um, I'd say the the most useful definitely has to be the merchant. In fact, I'm just going to quickly go off here. I'm going to show you what is within the merchant here. Um, so that's. Yeah, okay. So this is this is some of the stuff you typically expect in the merchant. As you can see, the crests you can buy with gold, as well as you can also buy silver keys, you can buy rest, red crest, um, 
crest boxes. Um, red crystal boxes, blue crystal boxes, which what I've been buying a lot of because I plan on getting some inscriptions up soon. Um, but you can see the level two um, the crest here. You actually pay gems for. Squire said in my previous episode, you want to be saving up some gems and definitely have a full gold vault just in case you run into the merchant. Um, now, level 2 mythical crests are 300 gems apiece. So, like I said, you definitely want to be saving the gems up, but uh, I'd say if there's one particularly that you're missing out of your set, then uh, definitely go ahead and go in your Lost Realm, guys. It's definitely worth going in now. Um, anyway, let's go back onto the game here. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be showing what Siren is like in the Lost Realm. Now, I think she's going to be half decent. Honestly, because like I said, there's no real troops involved, so hopefully should be pretty good. Um, we'll take it out. Let's go ahead and take out. Yeah, let's take out Thunder God there. Um, black Art Pumpkin Duke at the front. Uh, let's go ahead and want to take out these little uh, treasure box things. I, tell you, I love buying the keys from the. Um, there we go. Here we go. We've hit the merchant, guys. Let's see what we can get. Uh, okay, actually, well, as you can see. Oh, I am pretty pissed right now. Oh no. Oh, that's the re that's the revite crest that I need. Oh god. I'm I'm one away from my re full revite set of crests and that's the crest that I need. Oh. That's why you want your gems, guys. <laughs> because you don't want to be in that situation where you haven't got enough. Oh, dear me. Oh dear. I really need to save my gems up more. <laughs> Hearing me, I'm gonna go ahead and buy these um, crystal bags because I can. I feel like it basically. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that as well. Why not? Uh, let's close that. But yeah, that's the idea of what merchants like, guys. I I'd say very, very useful. Um, I definitely recommend filling your gold vault and making sure you got a few gems uh, just in case you run into them and get the crests that you want, which I got saw there. That is going to piss me off for a while. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay here. Now, uh, let's see what she does against some of these troops. I might actually take a couple of the heroes out just to sh show her in a better light. Um, let's see if I can get a proc here. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take out a couple of my heroes just to... Uh, just to demonstrate its skills a little bit more. Um, hit the treasure trove again. Mm, should I buy any? Let's go ahead. Fuck it, why not? Mythic Crest Bag, that is what we want. And a large red crystal bag. I'm not going to buy any more of those treasure trove things. I'll lose all my blue crystals, but there we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take out Santa Boom. Uh I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it for here was there. Um, let's show what she's like here. Um, now, I quite like her proc because she obviously can take more damage. And uh, I know some of the hero sets within the Lost Realm are quite difficult. There you are. You can see a proc there. Now, with the Lost Realm heroes, they can sort of take a lot more health. So, um, you know, with, <clears throat> with um, Siren's ability to... Um, make sure the enemy heroes take more damage, I believe that her proc actually might come in quite handy. Um, Lost Realm, I'd say, pretty good. Um, particularly the fact that she can make sure the those heroes take down a little bit more damage, so um, I should be able to take down those Lost, um, Lost Realm teams a little bit quicker. Might actually come in handy against the, uh, the Lost Realm boss, which is what I've been getting all those mythical crests from and whatever else. But uh, for the dungeons, I mean, eh, I'd, I'd say there's probably more heroes that are useful out there for uh, the dungeons, but um, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to figure out what game I haven't covered yet. Um, could raid in HBM uh, dungeons. Um, let's have a think. Uh, okay, so the next episode is going to be on the boss and storm messer this has been your memory on directs here from abomination and until next time i'm out of here yeah.